What's going on? You know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, back and full of fact, you already know how I'm rocking, man. Hey, man, check it out, check it out, check it out. So we got animals that scientists have made in the lab. I knew they was making some motherfucking animals in the lab, because some of these animals be looking fucking crazy. Like, hey, what the fuck is a cockatoo, a bro? Do you ever see a cockatoo? That little motherfucker looked like he was built in the lab, bro. Like, and a, a fucking vulture. I like, all them little, little dirty motherfuckers like they was built in the lab. Yeah, I was like, nah. Nah, living things I, I already knew that shit. Similar individuals that can exchange DNA or interbreed. Hybrid animals, on the other hand, the fuck are is generally that? the result of mating between two comparable creatures, such as lions and tigers. A liger? Lab I know about a liger. also exist. Somatic hybridization is the process by which scientists combine genes from both parents to create new species. What the fuck is that? Is that a cat cheetah leopard? Because the offspring of two distinct oh, species hell are no. usually infertile. They are not able to reproduce naturally. Nevertheless, there are some exceptions. In this video, we are going to show you some animal hybrids you will not believe ever existed in this world. But before we do what that, the fuck please is that? subscribe to Unimaginable if you horse? have not already, and also do press the bell icon if you love watching unimaginable things oh, in this hell world. No. You have probably heard about the most frequent the animal zebra? hybrid between a female horse and a male donkey, known as a mule. But did you realize there are other hybrids out there? Oh, that's Despite what a mule is. I didn't know that's that what a mule was. this sort of was. species crossing does not usually take place in nature we now have zonkeys ligers and zebra what the fuck is a zonkey a zebra donkey come on now bro this crossing does what the not fuck? usually take place in a nature zonkey. we now have zonkeys ligers and zebroid thanks to human intervention these zebroid? creatures what the are fuck generally is infertile with certain exceptions such as the koi wolf which is formed by combining a coyote and wolf Though the internet is full of Photoshop images of strange creatures, this video is full of absolutely real and amazing animals. So without any further delay here are the I wanna top know what 12 that is, animal bro. hybrids you will not believe ever existed in this world. Number 12, Geep. The a geep, geep, a charming cross a goat between a, sheep? a goat and a sheep, is okay. one of the cutest and softest hybrid animals. Despite their admirable looks, the geep is quite uncommon. Some a specialists geep. question whether or not the geep is a genuine hybrid or simply a sheep with genetic problems. Because goats and sheep have different numbers of chromosomes, cross species conception is I mean, see that they impossible. look the same though, bro. Occurs, only a few so I ain't really mad at that one. Term, it be them animals that don't even look the same, birth. like a giraffe because and a of fucking the resemblance horse. Of the animals, it is thought that sheep-goat crossings have been taking place for a long time. Because certain primordial sheep breeds may be mistaken for goats, there exists the belief that they are goat hybrids. Number 11, Zebroid. What a is Zebroid that? is a hybrid of a zebra and any equine species. Technically speaking, a zorse is created when zebra and horse are mated together. Zebra hybrids are a usually zebra and, a horse? and mating opportunities are few. For example, we use the term hinny to describe the progeny of a male donkey and a female zebra, despite the fact that they are quite rare. The majority of zebra hybrids have the appearance of the species they have been crossed with, with the exception of pure zebra hybrids who retain their striped coat. The stripes are generally limited to the legs or non-white parts of the body a zebra depending and a horse on the genetics is crazy. of non-zebra parent. Zebroids are striped like a zebra, but they resemble their non-zebra parent in terms of appearance. The stripes generally do not cover the entire body and may be restricted to the legs, or they might cover parts of the body or neck. If the non-zebra parent was patterned such as a roan, Appaloosa, Pinto, Piebald, or Skewbald horse. This pattern may be transmitted to the Zebroid via genetics. Number 10, Tigan. A Tigan is commonly tiger confused a with a Liger. After all, both are mixes of lions and tigers. When a male tiger mates with a female lion, though, the offspring is a Tigon. Tigans are considerably smaller than Ligers and tend to be smaller than both of their parents. They have characteristics from their lion moms, such as the ability to roar and a passion for socialization, but they resemble more towards their tiger fathers. The mane of a male Tigan is shorter and less apparent than the mane of a lion and resembles the ruff of a male tiger. It is an understandable misconception that Tigans are smaller than lions or tigers. They do not have dwarfism or miniaturization because they inherit growth inhibitory genes from both both parents, but they do not grow as large as ligers, many weighs about 180 kilograms compared to ligers weighing between 320 and 550 kilograms. It differs from the liger, which is the offspring of a male lion and female tiger. Number 9. Holfen. The Holfens is one of the rarest hybrid animals. They come from crossbreeding of a male false killer whale, which is a species in the dolphin family that is not related to killer whales, with a female bottlenose dolphin. Citizen Holfen sightings in the wild are frequent, but hard evidence still eludes scientists. We can now only reliably see them in captivity. 
The combination of their parents is very intriguing. Their skin is a dark gray, the ideal mix of light gray oh, dolphin skin it. and oh, black false spin. killer whale skin. They also have 66 teeth, Daniel. which is the average for dolphins with 88 teeth and false killer whales with 44 teeth. The first known Holfin was bred in a Tokyo Sea World in 1981. He died after 200 days. The first Holfin to live in the United States and the first to do oh, so was Ki Kamala, who was born at Sea Life Park in Hawaii hey. on May 15, 1985. Her name translates as from the peaceful ocean. When Kikaimalu produced a young calf, she proved capable of breeding. The youngster died shortly after birth. Number eight, Liger. The Liger is a cross between a male a lion yeah, and yeah. a female tiger that produces the most well-known hybrid animal of all time. Ligers are generally much larger than either parent. The biggest non-obese liger Damn, in the world fat girl. weighs 1,000 pounds, while the heaviest ever recorded weighed 1,600 pounds. Tough. Because lions and tigers do not typically live in the same places, finding ligers in the wild would be nearly tough. They resemble lion cubs more than tigers, but they have tiger features such as an affinity for swimming and striped backs. The liger has a faint tiger-like striped pattern on a lion-esque tawny background. In addition, it may also inherit rosettes from the lion parent. Lion cubs are rosetted, and some adults retain faint markings. The black and dark brown stains, as well as the sandy ones, are common. The color of the background may be tawny, sandy, or golden, depending on the subspecies. The underparts are pale in comparison to the upper side of the animal in this case, which is known as countershading. The particular design and hue depend on which subspecies your parents were and how their DNA combines in your offspring. Number seven, green sea slug. The green sea slug is one of the most unusual hybrids on this list. It is a sea slug that incorporates genetic material from the algae it consumes into its own DNA as a result of natural crossbreeding. As a plant-animal hybrid oh, wow. that eats like an animal and creates its own nourishment by photosynthesis, it is quite unique. The green sea slug can be found in the following states, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Rhode Island, Florida, yeah, Maryland, and Texas. I'm in Maryland. They yeah, yeah. may also be seen as far they north in the as harbor. Nova Scotia, Canada. These sea slugs are known yeah, by the like scientific name the of emerald green Elysia. Their green color is due to their capacity to transform solar radiation into food. Scientists say that they will need to conduct further study in order to figure it out. However, until now this has been the only effective method of gene transfer from one complex species to another. Number 6. Beefalo Beefalo, a beefalo. are a cross between buffalo and domestic cow. In most situations, a breeders beefalo produce is crazy. beefalo by mating a domesticated bull with an American bison female. Beefalo are able to reproduce on their own, unlike many other animal hybrids, which is advantageous. Humans intentionally cross them to improve beef production and pass on the greatest qualities of both species. They have meat that is leaner, more flavorful than that of bison, but is easier to raise and more docile like, like your domestic house. cattle. Beefalo are typically 37.5% bison and resemble cattle in appearance. Breeders have produced several bison slash cow crosses, some of which are 50% or more bison and are known as catalo. In addition, any hybrid that resembles a buffalo rather than a cow is usually classified as an exotic animal rather than livestock. Crossbreeding between cattle and bison has been known since at least Why are you putting them bells on cows? I always wanted that. Why do you put bells States on cows? During British colonization, the first intentional crossbred of cattle and bison were made during the mid-19th century. Colonel Samuel Bedson, warden of Stony Mountain Penitentiary in Winnipeg, Manitoba, initiated the first deliberate attempts to crossbreed bison with cattle in 1880. Number five, the cama, like the buffalo, the was developed to generate a the more economically viable animal than a camel and a white. Camas are created via artificial insemination when dromedary camels and llamas crossbred. A this camel is the and ideal a method llama. of producing them since male dromedary camels weigh six times more than female llamas. Camas do not have camel humps and they are covered in soft, fluffy fur similar to that of llamas. They they were developed to create a massive wool producing animal that was both strong and docile enough to be used as a pack animal in desert regions. At four years of age, the first Kama exhibited signs of becoming sexually mature when he displayed a desire to breed with a female guanaco and a female llama. 
He was also a behavioral letdown, having an extremely terrible disposition. In 2002, the second Kama, Kamala, a female, was successfully born. Five Kamas had been generated as of April 2008. Number four, Jaglian. The Jaglian, Jaglian. is a beautiful and intriguing that big cat you look hybrid tough, though, created but by mating a male jaguar with a lioness. On the other hand, ligars are the young of the lion and jaguar produced by couples who mate in the reverse order. It is an affix used to describe people or things related to that them. That shit low-key tough. So I knew a Jaglian exist, little is known about them. On April 9, 2006, however, two Jaglian were born at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Barrie, Ontario. Jazara female and Tsunami male were the result of an unintended mating between a black jaguar named Diablo and a lioness called Lola that had been hand reared together and were inseparable. The one with the lion colored coat and jaguar pattern spotting. The other, which has a beautiful jet black coat with black spots owing to the presence of the prominent melanin gene seen in black jaguars. Jaglians are a species of fairy. They have the color of lions, with lion-like rosettes, and the body structure of a jaguar. Number 3. Pizzly Bears What the, the fuck? Pizzly Bear is a hybrid between a polar bear and a grizzly bear. These creatures are also known as Growler Bears, and some First Nations a peoples call bear? them Nanulak, which is a blend of their words for polar bear, Ew. Nanuk, and grizzly bear, Aklak. Growler bears are significant since, in general, polar bears and grizzlies have a That's mutual a dangerous dislike combination, for one another bro. and will rarely cohabit in captivity or in their natural habitats. However, extreme situations and human actions Big have resulted bear. in more of these endearingly fluffy, caramel-colored mixed bears. The largest polar bear subspecies, they usually reach 60 inches tall at the shoulder and 1,000 pounds in weight. However, because of their grizzly bear ancestors, they are better able to survive in warmer climes. DNA testing was not available to authenticate the bear's ancestry in previous instances where possible wild bred polar bear and grizzly bear mixes were detected and shot. In 2006, the existence of this hybrid in nature was confirmed by DNA testing on a distinctive looking bear that had been shot near Saks Harbor, Northwest Territories. The growing number of proven hybrids stems from the same female polar bear. With many possible sightings and eight confirmed instances, theories about how such mixtures would go about emerging naturally have grown increasingly speculative. Although polar bears typically live on adjacent regions, direct contact has not been typical because polar bears hunt, breed, and sometimes even make maternity dens on sea ice, where brown bears have a largely terrestrial way of- Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Uh, I see a little nigga looking at me. Some shit like that. I don't Why? go some shit like that. Two, Savannah cat. Savannah That's what I wanted cats to see. Maybe house pets, but they are also exotic. I ain't no damn house pets. Savannas pet. are striking creatures that resemble large domestic cats in size. However, That's a big their ass tall bodies, cat. thin shapes, and spotted manes, on the other hand, give them a wild and exotic appear. The Savannah cat is one of the biggest domestic cat damn. breeds. It is a cross between a domestic cat and a serval, a medium-sized, big-eared wild African That's cat big that is classified cat. as near threatened during. 1990s, Damn, this rare cross that became cat, popular bro. among breeders, and in 2001, the dog. International Cat Association accepted it as a new registered breed. Taikie recognized it as a championship breed in May 2012. Savannah cats can also be taught to walk on a leash and retrieve. Some savannas are said to be sociable and friendly with people and other cats and dogs, while others may run away or hiss and growl when seeing a stranger. Savannah kittens nah, are most cool likely to be them. sociable as they grow up sleep. because of their interactions with humans and animals. Breeders claim that around 50% of first-generation savannah kittens develop fear and anxious behaviors Look, when dog introduced terrified. into their new homes. Dog terrified that exposure you. to other people and pets is a major influence in savannah kitten socialization. These actions, if left unchecked during childhood, continue throughout adulthood. Savannah cats with greater serval blood may be up to twice the size of typical cats. As a result, anybody considering acquiring one should do considerable study. Savannah cats are highly clever, loyal, and loving animals. They are also beloved house pets. Number one, Leapin. Leapins are a beautiful and, and rare hybrids produced by combining a male leopard with a female lion. 
Leapins get to be almost as huge as lions, but they have shorter legs like a leopard. They also have leopard-like characteristics, such as a preference for water and climbing chops. A leopard is a term used to describe the offspring of a lion and a leopardus. Male lions are typically 10 feet long and weigh 500 pounds, whereas female leopards are generally only 5 feet long and weigh 80 pounds. Because there is such a large difference in size between a male lion and a female leopard, this mating is extremely rare. The first documented lepon was bred in India in 1910. It came from the hands of Walter Samuel Millard, the secretary of the Bombay Natural History Society, and mm. was a cross between a big leopard and a lioness. Two cubs were born, one That's of cute. which That's died at 2.5 months old, Aww. while the other lived on until 1912. Based on the data from the Japanese cats at the Nishinomiya City Zoo, lepons are larger than lepards and have characteristics from both the lepard and lioness. Brown rather than black, markings distinguish them, as well as tufted tails. They may climb like leopards and appear to enjoy water. Traits similar to those of the leopard. Male leapons might have sparse manes measuring 20 centimeter in length. Well, that is the end of the video. Hey, do man. not forget to subscribe That's gonna to the channel. For animals See you next. That scientists have made in the lab. That shit is crazy, Brody. What's up, man? That's gonna do it for the video. Time. Let's see some. Bitch, I said I stop. A species is a group of lip. Want me talking and shit. But yeah, man, that's gonna do it for the video. Let's see in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.